AFC picture for the third straight week. The Jets win, they're in, but they're at Baltimore. Oh, and you knew this was going to be funny. With two old Bucks quarterbacks, the two guys that started the most games for Tampa's quarterback, Trent Dilfer and Vinny Testaverde. But early on, the Jets were on it. Lee Flicker, Vinny, who, by the way, scored the first Ravens touchdown ever, throws the pass to Diedrich Ward, 7-0 Jays. You're talking about the best run defense in football, so you see that secondary come up and run support, bite on the flea flicker. Vinny Testaverde, easy job of throwing the ball over the top to Diedrich Ward for a score. The Jets under Al Groh last week looked like a team afraid to lose. They did not come out that way today, Tom. Testaverde, play action, lobs it beautifully to Richie Anderson, and he drags Corey Harris into the end zone, 35 yards. Anderson caught 11 for 139, 14-0 the Jets. Second quarter, Testaverde fumbles. Ravens ball, Trent Dilfer. How did Priest Holmes make that catch? Well, it is a Sunday, Priest do well. 27, I mean, Christmas Eve, of course. Dilfer to Cadre Ishmael. Touchdown, seven yards, feet in, 14-7. Jets lead down to seven. Then, later in the second, Testa Verde is picked off by Dwayne Starks. Starks, high stepping, and returns it deep in the Jets' territory, all the way to the 31-yard line, sets up a Stover field goal, 14-10. Later second, where for some reason, Vinny's interceptions are like four times more in this quarter than ever before, than any other quarter, Windrell Hayes makes the pick. Fakes out Windrill Hayes, and my bad, he was picked off by Starts. Picks up an extra 30 yards. Look at the lateral on the play. Meanwhile, Dilfer, incomplete to Leon Johnson on third and one. Brian Billick says, let's go. Fourth and one. Dilfer, incomplete. Boy, he has trouble throwing the ball in tight. Incomplete to Shannon Sharp with that Baltimore defense. It's a safety. It's a deep. Curtis Martin never even smelled the goal line, 14-12. Later in the second, Jets driving. They still lead it. And Wayne Corbett, who played a big game, made some circus catches, 39-yard game. With 24 seconds left in half, look at how long Vinny looks at the corner. Looking, looking. Picked off by Chris McAllister. Curtis Martin's the only guy that has a shot. No, sir. He could go all the way. 98 yards when the Jets were going to go in. The Ravens go in. Well, 20 to 14. Less than 20 seconds left in the half. You see Corbett running his route, but look at McAllister. Just follow the eyes of Vinny Testaverde right to the football. That's a fairly easy pick for a corner. Great play to make before the half. Third quarter, Dilfer sprain wrist. Tony Banks in, up, down, up, down. Separate shoulder. Banks out. Dilfer in. But really, you know who was not in? The Jets cover teams on the punt. Jermaine Lewis, 54 yards. 27-17, Ravens. Lewis, in the fourth quarter, returns another punt. Gets a couple of blocks. Makes a cut at the 40. He could go all the way. Two punt returns, an interception return, and a safety for Art Modell. And the Baltimore Ravens, they allow 20 points. But they still smash the record for fewest points allowed in a 16-game season. For the New York Jets, a loss at 34 to 20. Martin, they couldn't run Vinny through 69 passes. Let's first go inside the numbers and show you that the Ravens have broken the mark of the 86 Chicago Bears by 22 points. Fewest points allowed in a 16-game season.